Hi, we're at CandyMachines.com today, and what we want to show you today is installing the locker box on the mini crane. Uh, what we have here is just the basic stuff that comes with the mini, the keys, the manual, the stickers, the extra string, the power cord, uh, etc. Uh, but on the other side, we've got everything that really comes or has to do with the locker box. You've got the locker box itself, the inner platform, which is optional. Um, it just raises the uh, display of the product a little bit. The two-part key, four screws, and with every mini that we're shipping right now, we're including a, a small screwdriver that helps make the assembly a little bit easier. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you're going to use the existing display box to display products, we do recommend that you install the locker box on location or after you put the products in there. Uh, the reason is, and this will be changed in the future, but this particular uh, run, we didn't have time to get in. The fabrication changes on that upper unit, and so it's a little bit harder to get that plexiglass out once the locker box is installed. But again, in the future, that's been addressed, but this particular run, the fabrication was already done on these bodies, so we went ahead and went with them on this production run. And based on feedback, we know that a lot of people actually plan on using the existing display box for more of an as an illuminated marquee, meaning you put your stickers, your decals, your uh, how to use the locker box sticker, or maybe pricing stickers or any other stickers that you may have personalized for your own um, route already as sort of an illuminated display. But what you're going to do is get your locker box and you've got a power cord coming off of it now in the corner backside corner here you see that there's a hole to route that through it's a one connector quick and easy just route it through that hole uh, inside the larger hole you'll be able to fish out the wire get them connected before you uh, put everything uh, in place um, once you've got that connected just go ahead and get the locker box in place there's four mounting holes um, to attach it um, this is going to be changed slightly in the future because we want to make it so it can uh, so you can retrofit your existing minis with the locker box kit so we've made some changes on the next production run but this one's going to be a little bit uh, unique on how it's installed so again you've got four screws the screwdriver that comes with it um, you may want to get a hand here when you're uh, installing it because you got to open that door and you only have so many hands. Uh, so go ahead and put that inner platform in there. Now again, that's optional, but it really just helps raise the product just a little bit and shines that light on it. But if you've got something that's a little larger, you can take that out and you got a little extra space. Um, what I do recommend though is go ahead and get everything lined up on there and just get each of the four screws started in each of those corners don't crank them down if you crank them down you're gonna have a hard time so just get them started go all the way around all four screws and then firm them up and attach it um, just makes everything a lot easier Now, once you've got everything attached, you'll see the two-part key. Now, how this key works is you've got the red part of the key and then the master key that the operator keeps. 
the, the bread part of the key is what's going to go inside the machine or inside a capsule or attached to a prize. So if the box is locked, that key unlocks the box so they can get their prize out of it. But that key won't come out unless you take the master key and insert it inside of that key. And then that uh, uh, releases the whole key assembly and allows you to reset it. Uh, the great thing about this locker box is it really doubles as an illuminated header as well. So even when it's empty, it still kind of has that a classic mini crane look where it has that illuminated header. Um, and even if you don't want to use the locker box function or you just use it as a display box, you still have a great header there. So again, it's a two-part key. Red key, um, red part of the key is what goes inside the capsule. You as the operator keep the secondary part of the key as the master key, and that's how you reset it. Once you get everything assembled, go ahead and power it up. You'll see everything lit up. Um, this is the new uh, black, we're calling it the spaced out version. It turned out really, really cool. Um, we really like it, uh, it sold out quickly. So we'll have to bring in some more of these. Um, we brought in a limited number and uh, the response was very good. And that's it, that's all you gotta do to install the locker box. Uh, we will have some additional updates of some other things that have changed on this particular mini. So just keep an eye on this page or the help page for the mini and you'll see everything on there.